Hi there, my name is Scott. This is just a quick video for the owner of the business. Now, first of all, I'd like you to, if possible, open up your website on your phone. Feel free to pause the video whilst you do this. Now, this isn't necessary, so if you don't have your phone on you, feel free to carry on. Now, chances are you have a nice website, but if it's anything like most websites today, there's one thing you could do right away that would, without doubt, generate more inquiries for your business this month and well into the future. And it's something that no one around you is really doing yet in any industry, none of your competitors, most likely. Chances are your website doesn't work properly on a mobile phone. It probably looks fine on a computer, I'd imagine. But the problem is, like most websites, it's most likely not optimized to be viewed on a mobile phone. Now, I'm going to show you exactly what I mean with an example of a random website on a mobile device, and then I'll show you a proper mobile version as well, so you can see the huge difference. But just before I do that, I just want to show you something that's very interesting. A few very interesting numbers and again, why all this is important. Now I've just done a search on the Google AdWords keyword tool and this is a free tool you can use to find out what people are searching for on Google. I've just entered a few keywords, uh, a few different keywords that people would type to potentially find your business on Google. Now normally when people search online they would enter the city town or area before or after these keywords uh, but for now the, for the purposes of this video um, it should show you what sort of search volumes are possible and it's also pulled up some uh, suggestions uh, down here from Google now if you're on AdWords if you're using Google AdWords ready to advertise for your business then quite possibly these are the kinds of keywords uh, that you're potentially bidding on right now for your pay-per-click advertising. Now what's interesting is that all these keywords um, right here are they're bringing in a combined uh, total of well into the millions uh, of searches per month. You may already be aware of this if you've used this tool before but what's really interesting is that these searches are coming from just mobile devices. Uh, not laptops and PCs, just mobile. So it's quite interesting to see how high these numbers actually are. And in fact, for you, quite possibly, it may be that the majority of people finding your website each month are coming from their mobile phones. And the thing with these mobile phone searches is they are serious potential buyers who want to find your business right now. These are people ready to come into your business right now, but they're not finding you. Um, I mean, think about that. How how would you do it yourself? Would you casually search for a, um, a towing company uh, sat around in your pyjamas at 2 o'clock in the morning? I don't think so, no. If you're anything like these searches right here, then I'd imagine you'd be looking for information and willing to take action straight away. Because, you know, when you want to hire a... Uh, when you want someone to come and pick up your car, you're generally going to do that right away, or if you want to, you want to find a local jewelers. What time they open? That's information you want to find out right now. Uh, same booking the taxi when you want to book a taxi. You phone up. You want to, you want that taxi straight away. So these keywords here, these are generally these searches here, are generally people that want to take action um, straight away, and that's more so the case for mobile users. Okay, now back to your website, which, as I say, it's probably a nice website. It's just that it's most likely not optimized for mobile usage. Now, here's what I mean. This is Google's smartphone emulator, which uh, emulates what a website looks like when someone looks at it on a mobile phone. So what I've done is I've entered a random site, and Google has tested it for mobile optimization. And here you are. And here... Um, I'll bet your site looks pretty much the same as this when looked at from a phone. Now, if you're looking at your website from your phone right now, there's a possibility you'll be looking at a blank screen with text that says something like, Flash not supported on this device. If this is the case, then it's because you're using something called Flash on your website, which isn't supported by most, webs uh, most smartphones. So you'll just get this grey blank screen. And this is another potential issue with some websites when viewed on mobile devices. If you were to have your techie or website man take off the flash from your website, then you would most likely see something more like this. Um, if there's no blank screen, then you'll probably just see something like this anyway. Now, as you can see, this website is shrunk to fit the screen, which makes it 
impossible to read without customers having to pinch the screen to zoom in. Now what it's done is Google has given you a, or gives you a score on your website's mobile presence. And if you want to pause the video, you can just have a read to see what it says. Just pause the video and have a quick read. As I say, Google most likely score yours about the same. Okay, so moving on. Now this is my own smartphone emulator, which I'll actually give you access to. So again, what this does is it emulates what a website looks like when someone looks at it on a mobile phone. Except this one looks a bit different than the Google one as the website is full size now rather than being shrunk to fit the screen and this is the same website we've just been looking at so there is there's lots of graphics on the website which makes it slow to load this is this is hard to demonstrate on this tool um, in terms of loading speed but it is slow to load and especially if the user is or the mobile user is not connected to the internet with Wi-Fi perhaps they're just using 2 or 3G mobile internet it can be nearly impossible to get the site open if there's lots of graphics slowing it down and when people search on the phone generally they want help now uh, now none of this is criticism by the way this is the same for most websites at the moment so you're far from being alone on this um, if you're in the same boat moving on this the website is too big for the screen in fact on an actual phone as we saw from the google tool it would most probably be shrunk to fit the screen as most non mobilized websites are when looked at from a mobile phone, which means you have to pinch the screen and zoom in to read, which then gives us this. And this uses up time, and when you do it, you can't see the rest of the site. And then you have to zoom out again. Also, the buttons and links are too tiny for people's fingers and thumbs, and there's probably too much stuff on there. Generally when people search on the phones, they're on the move and they're just looking for your location, uh, opening hours and contact information and that's it. And finally when you press the phone number it doesn't actually do anything. Uh, what it should do ideally is open up the customer's phone menu with the phone number already entered automatically so all they then have to do is press call. Right now the customer would have to write the number down with a pen and paper and uh, then type it into the phone. Now, the reason all this is an issue and uh, the reason you want to take action on this is that from this year, according to forecast, the percentage of the people using their phones to access the internet will overtake the percentage of people using their computers and laptops, which means that most people will be finding you from their mobile phones and most likely seeing something like this uh, or like this. And as I say, yours is probably a nice website is probably perfectly fine it's just that it's probably fine for laptops and computers but there's most likely no mobile optimized version let's just have a quick look at this this is a report by comscore um, on the growing popularity of uh, mobile so you've probably heard of the website Groupon and Living Social is very similar According to this graph here, most of the users are coming from uh, their mobile phones, so most visitors to group on the Living Social are coming from the mobile phones. That just shows you how powerful mobile is. Um, just quickly, let's have a look at some stats from Google to back up what I'm saying. This is an article from Google's blog, and the most important stat for me is this one here. 61% uh, will leave your mobile site if they don't see what they're looking for. Okay, now you've probably done the hard work, you have a website and it's probably getting visitors. But if we go back over here, we can see there are potentially hundreds, uh, if not thousands, searching for you every month. So with that stat from Google in mind, and with your site likely being non-mobilized currently, 6 in 10 of those mobile users would leave your site straight away just because it's not mobile friendly. Uh, that equates to a lot of potential lost visitors if these numbers are anything to go by. And a quick look at this from another Google document. Let me scan down to the FAQ page. There we go. And uh, by the way, I'll give you access to these documents after the video. But if you if you just want to pause the video and have a quick look at these questions and answers they're very interesting just pause the video and have a quick read of this screen okay welcome back 
Now if you look through this document and others I'll send you, you'll find all sorts of stats like, and I've written these down, mobile users are statistically more likely to take action, not just browse. At the moment mobile traffic tends to be around 25-50% to 50 of website traffic. 90% of mobile users uh, sorry, 90% of websites are not mobile friendly. Over 50% of all local searches happen on a smartphone. And finally, the likelihood someone will buy averages 7.4% on a mobile device. And that's over three times higher than on a computer. Just some good stats there. I like Google because no one really monitors uh, the internet patterns like Google does. So the solution. The solution to all this is a second additional website. So you need two websites. Uh, so then people looking for you on their website would, uh, sorry, looking for your website from the computers or laptops would see your nice website, which you probably already have, which is likely fine as it is. But if they look for you on their mobile phone, they will be redirected to your second website that is optimized for mobile phones. That would look uh, something like this. Okay, now this is a generic demo that I made. Now in a second I'll show you an actual business that has a mobile site. But for now let's just look at this demo. As you can see this there's hardly any graphics which means it loads very quickly. Uh, it fits the screen perfectly, you just need to scroll up and down, there's no need to scroll left and right. The buttons are perfect size for fingers and thumbs. It has a tap to call button, so people just have to tap it to phone you. Uh, it has the main things that people would need if they were searching from their phone, uh, which is contact information, location. Click on that. Yeah, I'm going to map down there as well. Um, and just the, the main things that people would be looking for, and opening hours as well. So these are the main things that people would be looking for from the phone. There's some other advanced stuff in there too. We've got a, a voucher here, loyalty program, text message marketing, all of which is huge, is huge and all of which I can show you later if it interests you. Now let me quickly just show you a random business I found that does have a mobile site. Uh, and by the way, doing this for a while, I found that so far hardly any have caught onto this uh, in any industry we go into. So you could actually steal a march on your competitors if you get this fixed. But here's a random one I just found that has tweaked. This is a business called Find to Fabulous and uh, here's their normal website and again it's nice as yours is I expect. There's nothing wrong with it but let's look at it from a mobile phone. If we just paste this into the box here. Okay. So as you can see, it has the same issues as yours likely has on a mobile phone, but they have an additional mobile website, which is here. Okay, so let's see what this looks like on a mobile phone. Two seconds, let's paste it into here. And there you go. Uh, if you open the Find to Fabulous website on your phone, you'll be redirected to their second mobile optimized version here which as you can see is optimized for mobile usage like the demo I showed you we've got a tap to call phone number here just tap that to phone them uh, we have hardly any graphics which means it loads very quickly the there's no need to scroll in and out sorry zoom in and out you just have to scroll up and down there's no having to zoom in and out um, buttons are nice size for fingers and thumbs yeah, they're not tiny little buttons um, and it's just a very easy website to use on a mobile phone and that's me I just wanted to bring all this to your attention because I'm not sure you're fully aware of the user experience on a mobile uh, and how this can increase your conversions or actual inquiries from your business without actually increasing your current website traffic at all uh, and again all this is sort of tricky so if you do need any help or advice on how to go about getting one of these websites set up and all the different things you can do I would be more than happy to help and advise in actual fact what I'd like you to do is if you fill in the form below this video 
I'll send you a link to this page, um, which there's a lot of information. You've got some demos, some regular desktop website demos there. We've got some mobile phone demos you can look at on your phone. There's this tool here. You can look at other other um, demo mobile websites as they would look like on a phone. You can look at other websites into this box. Look at them on here. Um, we've got, um, if you fill this in, we can actually draft you a mock-up mobile website with your branding on so you can get a better idea what your website would look like mobilized. And just some other good information on the importance of having a mobile uh, website. Uh, there's also a very handy, uh, where is it down the bottom here, the very handy internet marketing audit presentation. Uh, that you can go through. I actually normally charge just less than £500 to go through this in person in a face-to-face -face marketing critique, but you can actually look at this presentation for free. Uh, but hopefully it will really help you with your internet marketing. So, as you can hopefully tell, this mobile thing isn't something that's going to go away, so I would strongly suggest you just fill in the box below this video and I'll send you this page and we can uh, we can take it from there. I'll even throw in a free premium listing on our local community portal page, uh, portal website, which has just gone live if you do eventually come aboard as a customer. yeah. Uh, but regardless of whether we do get to work together or not, either way, I would strongly suggest you fix this as I'm, I'm confident it's going to have immediate effect on your business. Anything else I'm happy with in the meantime, please feel free to get in touch. My advice is free. And thank you for watching.